Hey, this is Leroy Sky. I'm the UFO Watchman, and on this show, I'm going to talk about terror friendly living and what you may be able to do because I can't do it because I don't have really the means to and the property. But I have a lot of theories, for example. Okay, terror friendly living is, is using your property to be self efficient where you don't have to depend on the power grid like the electric company, the water company, city. Uh, but this city won't allow you to do that because they have too many regulations for homeowners. They, they infringe upon your rights. I mean, you can't even set a bucket out in your yard without them griping about it. But, uh, and that, that brings up another thing. If they really want to save and save on pollution, save on fuel in the city they might want to make their yard inspector walk like the mailman because the mailman goes through rain sleet snow and all kinds of bad weather and hazard uh, hazards and everything to deliver our mail and the city inspector gets to drive around in a big dodge pickup with air conditioning and, and uh, spying on our yards basically and a lot of times just parking in one spot you know where, where they could be taking their clipboard and going out walking and probably do a better job and cover more area and and save tons on gasoline and, and uh, maintenance on city vehicles and using that money for something like to beautify the city with gardens organic gardens or or, 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 or to put solar panels on top of the courthouse to save in, in that respect or put or putting them on public buildings that, that, that they don't really that people might not like it on the courthouse because it's a you know mostly usually courthouses are historical buildings but on other, other public buildings they could put solar panels and stuff like that with the money they save from the yard inspector having to walk to do his job and, and carry his clipboard and his bottle of water with him and stuff. And maybe carry him some beef jerky. So, what I want to talk about now, it's uh, using your property to, to help the environment, to be self-sufficient. And here are some examples I drew up. I don't have the property, I don't have the means, but I've got some theories. <laughs> some theories, excuse me, I'm doing like some best with the cat. All right, here's my theories. You may want to check in to Jim Channon. Look at my head. Okay, here are the wind towers, the vertical wind towers on one slot of land. Let's see if you can get all of that. The slanted part, one part of it's organic, organic uh, garden, and the part with the grid, that solar panels with a water pump between them, and a water storage tank, and then all those little round deals that look like titties. Those are uh, wind towers, vertical wind towers, but they're on one shaft with like five generators per shaft going up the tower and a low friction okay and but they produce a lot of electricity and water you can pump water and if you if you get land that has a <clears throat> maybe a natural gas you could maybe if you had the money you could tap into your own natural gas source 